It took several hours to lift and place the figures inside their new home. Known as Glockenspiel, these life-size figurines perched inside the clock tower will be a reminder of Santa Clara's Swiss heritage. It's been a dream of Councilwoman Mary Jo Hafens since the new town hall was built in 2008. At that time, there was about 150,000 reasons it didn't go in. <laughs> However, we, we still left this, the spot there and uh, with the hopes that we'd one day get it. The bronze cast bells ring each hour in Santa Clara City Hall clock tower. Now these twirling life-size figurines will also dance to Swiss folk music. Esther West actually is an artist here in town and she drew the figures and did a lot of the artwork and uh, Sherry Anderson helped her with the research so they are authentic costume and then those drawings were sent to Zarnowski Company and their uh, operation managers, Will Camp, lives here in Santa Clara, and they are, they're actually hand carved. Then they cover them with um, fiberglass and s s other materials, and then they're hand painted. We'd like to welcome you to the unveiling of the new Santa Clara Glockenspiel. Give it a hand. City leaders and town folk gathered patiently waiting for the Glockenspiel characters to come to life. Three, two, one. As the doors opened, onlookers watched as the figurines began twirling clockwise. The happy dancers with instruments in hand parade inside for about three minutes. It took three months to design, carve, and paint them. The artist who hand carved them said this is the largest project he's encountered in his 50 years. But this particular project, uh, the, the, the fact that it was going to be for the city, for the community for, to enjoy, it was very special. The true cost of this unique giant music box is unknown. That's because of the many talented volunteers and hours donated to make this dream a reality. But one thing's for sure, anyone who sees and hears it will remember the Swiss days of Santa Clara. In Santa Clara, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.